It's about time that my basement gets Ethernet. The Wi-Fi is fine, but I have a server down there and it can use a little more horsepower. I have a Gigabit Ethernet uh, Netgear switch right here. I've had this for a couple years, never found a use for it, now I do. I got this, this will go to the server, it's a 25 foot Ethernet cable, Cat6 I believe. Yes, it's Walmart brand, but it's cheap. And then this is my 50 foot Ethernet cable to get to the switch. This right here is the main star of the show. This is a coax Ethernet switch adapter. You open it up, so if we take one out, you could basically see it has a TV pass through for like cable and stuff. That's right, right there. Ethernet and power. And this basically will adapt it to coax. I paid a uh, decent money for these and they had really good reviews. So, uh, but saying it's about time we try it out. Uh, they look like they're both the same, really. It comes with these really nice, beefy coax cables. And then, of course, accessories. We got power, Ethernet. I'm probably going to be using, end up using those Ethernets. And we can test it out. It's actually really, really cool. Well, look at that, everybody. I just hooked up my first one. Okay, so I got the Ethernet coming from the router to the switch and it's being bypassed to the modem from the TV selection and this is going in the coax. Now I gotta connect the opposite end. Just to show it's working, I'm doing a ping, rapid ping, and it's still pinging, so it's working. Okay, now we're downstairs by the cable box. We gotta figure out which one goes to my bedroom here. I don't know what this one goes to. This one goes somewhere. Um, let me figure out where that one goes, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna hook this up quickly because I don't got much time. We got people that live on this internet here, so I'm gonna use this switch here, but remove this adapter. It's kind of stupid. I might add it back later. I don't know, but yeah, wish me luck. Okay, everybody, we got it here. So basically, my room goes down to here. Uh, I'm gonna hook this up to this thing later at the moment, but for now, we're just gonna do this. I have it going out the house here, in through here. It's going straight outside. Uh, we're just no longer using this. And now I'm gonna run the ethernet all the way up through there. Okay, everybody, it's now finished. So I got this piece here. It runs all the way up there, down here. Wait, nope, it runs that way. Can you remember where I put my own cable? That way. I need to clean my lens. Runs through there, down the ductwork, to the switch. Now it's gonna run all the way back up to the server in that other room. And I finally got it. I got this outlet splitter here. So, comes down here, follows that green cable there. So you can see the green cable right there. It goes above these pipes here, down in here, then it goes all the way down to the behind this computer here. You got this gigabit uh, Netgear network switch. I have one going to the TV, the Apple box, the computer. So if you follow that one up, goes all the way above the vents, comes out here, follow it, it makes a right angle turn here. See, that's where I use the zip ties. It goes above this foundation pillar, another foundation beam. Then it crosses here, follows this pipe. So there's some zip ties here. And then it goes all the way down. I got 75 feet, so I have some extra. I looped it up, and it goes all the way in here. And if I wake this computer up, and I'm going to disconnect this Wi-Fi card. I really don't need it anymore. Don't need the Wi-Fi nor the Bluetooth. I'll give it to somebody else. And there you go, Ethernet. And I get about a gigabit throughout the whole network. So it works. So now I'm in my room, two stories higher. So the, eth so the coax cable goes up to this white one here. And this black one goes to the modem here. And this actually goes straight outside, believe it or not. So this goes to the TV port. And on the other end, I have that TV port connected to the outside connection. This port goes to the home connection. And then here's the ethernet. I just have this over here for now. I'm gonna, don't worry, this is all gonna be organized. And then it goes to the router right here. So I now have them all filled. Pretty cool. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about how this works, let me know, and I'll be happy to answer.